Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Monday, June the 13th, 2016. Today, the chart of the day is going to be TVIX, ticker symbol TVIX. This volatility type of a uh, ETF performed pretty well today. As you can see, coming off the lows of $2.10, we have our high up here at 1990 and we're on track now to try to break the overall downtrend in this market as you can see nice breakout on huge volume which is great market is well supported at two dollars and sixteen cents and this market is trying to make it to the three dollars and sixty two uh... trend line resistance and then we got a little air pocket between that trend line resistance and the bottom of the kumo cloud and then uh, we're inside the cloud from there. Upward resistance is outside the cloud at around seven dollars. So looking at a, uh, a possible possibility of another uh, four dollars here uh, run in this particular play, depending on how the stock market behaves uh, with Brexit just around the corner on Wednesday, it still remains up in the air how the overall markets are going to fare. So I suspect as this looks to be locking in, this market has a possibility of gaining some legs. Alright, turning our attention now to the US dollar. The US dollar is still in a negative pulse wave and it's bumping its head against this upward trend line resistance of 94.86 on the on the daily chart here and over uh, strong overhead resistance at 95.07. Uh, looks that this market is ready to turn down and start to accelerate again this time to the downside uh, we have a minor support at this uh, 9431 price level if that does not hold then this could really get nasty as we head back down here and take out the prior lows and getting uh, getting itself back into the, the the 92 handle which could be very very nasty if this downtrend were to pick up momentum. Switching our focus now to crude oil. Crude oil now is officially entered into a negative pulse wave scenario on the daily chart. Upward resistance is at 51.67 and a half and right now the market could find itself in free fall headed back down toward the long-term trend line support of 45.45 45. so we'll see what happens as we are oversold now so we could reverse here and just hang out at this price level. Uh, we do have a minor resistance overhead at 49.62. So we have to keep our eyes open for, uh, for the crude oil and see what happens. All right, switching now to the Nikkei. We have a very interesting uh, development here in the Nikkei. We have both rally and crash alerts possible in the Nikkei. I will tell you, and after doing this for many, many years, this is the first time I have seen a situation like this, where we're right on the cusp of total disaster in this particular market, or some type of sudden reversal. I can't always quantify or qualify what I state in the videos, I can just tell you what I'm seeing and what the algos are picking up and in this scenario on the daily chart you can see it's just just in free fall here but we are oversold all right it could lock in but it's hard to say and it, it's, it's because all bets are off because of this whole brexit thing so just keep in mind we got a rally alert and we have a crash alert possibility in this Nikkei. In other words, strong, powerful move is it's coming. It's going to be uh, to the upper or downside or even possibly both. We could crash and burn and then just recuperate instantly. That has happened in these markets before too. So it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be interesting. But you can see overhead resistance is way up here at 17,125. And we are in a negative pulse wave scenario trading well below uh, you know all the trend lines here. So it's this is a significant move so right now it's looking like we're crashing first and then we could possibly rally after the fact okay looking now at gold on the daily chart gold is well supported at 1229.70 
we hit a high today of 1290.60 as the market is marching toward the $1,300 resistance target. And right now we are locked in and we are on good volume on the daily chart. I suspect this will continue to, to creep higher until we find out what's going to go on with the Brexit. And not only that, but regardless of which way the, the votes go, whether it stays or goes, what we don't know is how the markets are going to respond either way. And that's really the caveat here. So um, this is interesting as this is still bullish, but these trend lines are still below the Kumo cloud. So I don't know. Um, we, we need to close above this last previous high of 13.0690. If we, close, if we can close above that uh, and, and get some uh, successive closes, that'll be good. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, uh, last but not least, looking at silver. As you can see here, we hit a high on silver of 1744, and we closed there for the most part. And we are well supported at 1635, and we have a lock-in scenario here. Volume is starting to pick up from Friday, which is great. And for one thing, we got our shorter-term trend line support of 17 right here above the Kumo cloud which is perfect uh, 17 should be the new support for this market if it's gonna march toward 18 and then into the 20s so this market also well supported uh, and we could be building on something here but this one does need to close above the 1807 if we can get su successful closes above that then this is setting up too for a really really nice bull run so that's all we have for now. So remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. Remember, take what you can and give nothing back. And for those of you who have not done so already, take a look at our video series entitled, There Is No Collapse. I cover a lot of groundbreaking material in there, and I think you will be uh, well benefited in checking that out. Also, for those of you who are new, and also for those of you who've been with me for a while but have not checked out the uh, the archives from the Wide Awake News radio show, check that link also. Uh, those links should be in the bottom of the video description of this video, and you can also just check playlists and you'll you'll see that there as well. And last but not least, I want to also inform you that uh, the website has been updated. Uh, we do have now Traders Education. So for those of you who are new to the markets and trading and you want to learn what trading is all about and learn some technical analysis and learn some things about Wall Street, uh, you can browse on over to the website. All that information is there for you to take advantage of along with a host of other things that you will find very beneficial. So be encouraged and until next time.